Hi yogis, Carleen Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a ninja flow. So when we think of ninjas, we often think of them being badass, fighting, parkour, like all kinds of crazy stuff. But we also think of them being really zen and always in control. So today we're going to focus a little bit more on the zen aspect. So we're going to do a kind of a nice slow flow, really focusing on our breath and some simple movements and balancing to keep us in that zen center. Because uh, obviously that's going to be like the most important part of any time you're being badass is having that really zen center. So that's what we're going to focus on today. To start, come to you know, just kind of a comfortable standing position. You don't need to worry about your feet being any which way. Just whatever is going to be comfortable. Nice loose bend in the knees. We don't want to lock our knees. We don't need to be squatting down or anything. Just limber, limber body. You can even get a little, a little flow and just... Find that place that is then a center for you. So you can come to stand tall in a nice center aligned position. And we'll start with some breath and then we'll start getting into the move of under breath and doing a little bit more challenging balance. But we'll start with something that's a little more calming to begin with. Uh, so this is actually a Qigong breath move called Bear Swimming in the Ocean. So to start, you're gonna have your hands extending out, reaching out in front of you. Palms are facing towards the sky. And from here, you're going to rotate your palms back behind you and press the air away from you, really stretching the front of your chest, stretching all of the uh, meridians along your arm. And you're gonna rotate your palms back up and then press them back forward. And as you do this forward motion, you're gonna arch just your chest a little bit to create a little, almost like a cat cow a little bit here. So we're stretching and then rounding it out and then stretching it again. So start with the hands facing the, the sky or your ceiling, reaching them back, big stretch in your chest, circling the arms and pressing your chest forward. Your uh, back, so you can even sit in your heels a little bit. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. You can start getting a little gentle mula bandha breath if you want to start squeezing it, exhaling from the base of your belly, exhaling it all the way out. And as you're doing this, don't just move your arms. I mean, that looks more like swimming, but you really want to think about the stretch and reaching and reaching here this really focusing on the reach and the stretch and engaging your muscles, that is what's gonna help activate the stretch and really get you some physical results from this as well. Nice last one here. Now from here, come back to stand, bring your hands toward you, but rotate your pinkies toward you. We're gonna now stretch side to side, getting total spinal movement here. So pinkies are facing towards you. Now you're gonna rotate. One arm, bring your right arm up, left arm reaches towards the earth. Right arm rotates, palm faces up, reaches toward the ceiling. And just stretch, just lean a little bit. We don't have to go super far. Just pressing into that stretch, slight lean towards the left. Opening up our lung capacity here, stretching our side body. And then as you come back to center, pinkies are going to rotate towards you. Hands pass each other and then palms press away opposite directions and stretch the opposite side. Very nice. Coming through center again. Pinkies rotate towards you and then press away. Getting our ninja-like coordination with these moves as we're rotating our palms every which direction. Remember not to lock out your knees so you can get even some movement in your knees if you want. You can bend them as you come through center and take the stretch to the next level so as you press away extending your legs. And last time to this side. This time, hands just come to center, 
and namaste. We're going to take a quick balance challenge here. So grounding into the earth with your right foot. We're looking about grounding in with the base of your foot. You got the, your heel and the balls of your big toe and little toe and really lifting all the way up from the earth. So left leg just lifts naturally off the ground. We're going to come into tree pose. Now you can put your foot on the base of your leg or higher, just not on your knee. Whatever is comfortable for you here. Hands to heart center and namaste. And from here, take a little bit of movement. So arms reach out. We're going to kind of do a fun leaning tree variation and lean in towards your legs. So taking that side stretch into a balance. Definitely not easy adding some extra movement to this, this pose, kind of a traditional pose that we're now mixing up a little. And back to center, you're going to reach up, big stretch, exhale as you slowly step out of that, very nice. Now ground into the earth with your left foot, and really think about firmly planting, like roots down to the center of the earth under your heel and the balls of your big toe and little toe and really lift up, channel all of that energy, that ninja-like strength. Right leg just lifts off of the ground because you're using so much of that deep core strength and place your right foot on your left leg somewhere. Coming into your tree pose. Arms extend out to the side and try that lean. So lean towards the knee challenging our balance by taking us a little bit off center when we're doing this. You might waver and wobble a little, you might even fall out of it, but that's totally okay. Because we're building control, we're building really that focus on that center. And being able to come back in it, if you've fallen out, that's uh, Master Yogi right there, if you do that. All right, inhale up. Big stretch, exhale, hands come to heart center, namaste as you step out of that pose and just inhale, reach all the way up. Hands come back to center as you forward fold, deep bend in the knees this time. Then you can just come to that first edge of stretch, wave yourself back and forth. We haven't done a ton of movement here, so your legs probably aren't super open. So keep them bent for as long as you need. You can get really wavy here and start bending one knee deeper than the other, really starting to warm up your legs, getting lots of spinal movement here, coming back to center. We'll do a bit deeper cat-cow motion here, so fingertips out in front of you, you're going to arch your spine. Exhale, round it out. I'll turn to the side so you can see it. Inhale, exhale. Now as we're doing this, starting to really activate the Lula Bunda breath. So think about inhaling, filling the base of your belly completely, even while we're doing this movement. Then as you exhale, really strong exhale through the nose and squeeze all there in and out. That big victorious sound as you exhale through your nose. Last time here. Very nice. Now from here, firmly plant strong fingertips, strong palms, and step yourself back into a plank pose. Wave your spine long here holding the strong pose for a moment, and then slight bend in the elbows as you exhale, wave yourself back to down dog. Very nice, from here you can just pedal at your feet a little, getting a bit deeper into the legs and the calves now. We're gonna try another moving challenge. So inhale here, right leg lifts to the sky, you're gonna exhale, Really bend everything, create space, lift that right knee in and up towards your chest and step your right foot towards your right thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine, bend the back knee, ground into the earth and roll yourself in and up, coming into a high lunge. Now here, 
is where we're going to have our fun challenge. So from here, I want you to reach your right arm back and lean yourself forward just a little bit. So you're going to really ground into the earth with your right foot. And now we're going to do that same motion where you press into the earth so much that you lift up your left leg, which I know is behind you. So big, huge challenge here. And we're going to add that movement of our arms like we were doing in the beginning. So press into the earth, lifting up and switch your arms. Woo. <laughs> so a lot happening here. Finding our ninjas in is going to help us get through this movement as you step back. Switching out the arms again. You can even add a bit of a twist. Something about twisting your palms too, if you want even more of a challenge. So that palms are facing towards the sky and facing away from you. And do this a couple more times. Really grounding into the earth, lifting up that left knee, switching the arms. There's so much happening. And remember to do the Mula Banda breath as you do it. Very nice. From here, keeping that left leg there, hands come to heart center. I'm going to try the tree pose again. So place left foot onto the right leg wherever is most comfortable for you. And come into your lean, stretching out the right side body. Very nice. Back to center. Huge challenge moment from here. Lean yourself forward, keeping that knee into your chest for just another moment and extend it back. Pause in Warrior 3 for a moment. Woo, you are a Ninja Warrior here. And step yourself back, lifting that right knee in and up, stepping back into your plank pose. Come onto your knees, lower through Chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up, and exhale, back to down dog. Woo, pedal out those feet, very nice. So not tons of quick movement, but very strong movement, and balancing challenge. So lots happening here, definitely working on our center and our core. But let's try the other side, because we have Two of them. So inhale here, prepare. Left leg lifts this time. Exhale, bend everything, create a lot of space to lift that knee in and up. And step your left foot towards your left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee, ground it to the earth as you wave in and up. Coming into your high lunge. Settle into the pose for a moment. Left arm this time sweeps behind you, palm faces away. Lean yourself forward, really ground into the earth again with your left foot and grounding so much that as you bend, you step your right knee in and up. Rotate those palms, rotate those hands. As you move, arm switch, which one's in front, you step back. Whew, you can waver and wobble here too, <laughs> all you want. Exhale. Inhale, slowly steps you back. Part of this challenge is not using momentum. It's very controlled. That's where we're getting our ninja inspiration from. Step back one last time here. Ground to the earth with that left foot, lifting in and up. Holding it here this time. Hands come to heart center and namaste. Find your balance here. Step right foot this time to the left leg. And arms extend into your leaning tree again. Notice if it's different than when you first attempted it earlier in the sequence. Maybe you have more balance, maybe you're more centered, or maybe you're more tired and falling more, who knows. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is A-OK. -okay. From here, gently release your right foot. Lean yourself forward, keeping that right knee in your chest, and then extending it into warrior three for a moment. And exhale. 
Bring yourself back down to the floor. Step back to plank, lower through chaturanga. Inhale here, prepare. Exhale, rolling in and up. And this time, pressing back into a very well-earned child's pose. You can even rock back and forth. And from here, come up to sit. Very nice. We'll take one last breath movement here in our child's pose to get a little bit more of a stretch. We'll do some spinal cord breathing. So inhale, it's kind of like a cat cow, but you have fists. So strong fists, strength, inhale, arch, exhale. Bring your elbows together in front of you and round your spine. Inhale here, exhale, inhale up. You can even do this if you want to get more of a stretch on your toes. Stretch out the bottom of our feet, which uh, we don't always give enough love into, so it can feel really good. And last one here. I hope you enjoyed that ninja flow. It was a quick, challenging balance, of course. So I do hope that you enjoyed it, that you found some strength finding that Zen Center that you can take with you into whatever adventures you have going on for the rest of the day. I do look forward to seeing you on the mat again next time. So make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Uh, of course, also get your name on the League of Nerdy Yogis email list because I have exclusive content for you there. Namaste.